I had gone out with a lady friend a while back, mm-hmm. and we'd gone to a concert, and then we went out afterward to a restaurant to get something to eat. And after, uh, when we were walking to the table, she slipped and fell hmm. on some water on the floor, and um, she was complaining about she had hurt her ankle. So I told her she needed to have the manager come over, and uh, he did you know, he did and filled out a report and everything. But it's gone on for a while, and she said that uh, she hasn't heard anything back from him. <clears throat> and I was wondering, um, you know, what to do. And I was just wondering, how long should you wait <clears throat> after an incident like that before you try to get legal help? Did she get some medical treatment to document her injury? She Kyle? did, and she's still having some going on. What do you know? All right. Well, Kyle, I'm sorry for that injury, first of all. Um, I think I know the answer, but what, what is the official answer on that? Two years is the statute of limitations, so you don't want to wait forever. And, and usually, if you're going to talk to someone about this, sooner is better than later because there may be evidence, witnesses, investigation, things that have to be done that with the passage of time won't. Uh, you know, as far as them not calling you back, if you get an email address for them, you know, there's nothing wrong with sending an email, hey, I've been waiting to hear from you. I made a report last week. That way you have a paper trail. Yeah, and how about this, Jim? They, they, they filled out the report. They turn it over to the insurance company, and the insurance company says, you know, I might just wait and see if they follow up with this. Mm-hmm. They don't call back. They don't call back. You just You're forget going, about it. Yeah. A- absolutely. If you don't push it, they're certainly That's not right. going to.